I get just as much out of teaching someone as I do learning from someone else. I started in this industry because I actually grew up in a hair salon. My okay. mother and father are both hairdressers. Uh, my father actually worked for Aveda for about 20 years, and uh, my mother has owned a salon now going on 35 years. I'm the creative yeah. director for Van Michael Salons, and what that means is we've got salons worldwide. We've got them in Japan, we have salons in Miami, and we have salons in Atlanta. And the big deal with that is the best companies in the world have consistency, no matter where you go. And that's the great thing about Van Michael Salons. We like to actually have consistency. If you go into our Miami salon and you get your hair cut by Rob in Miami, and then you come up to Atlanta and you get your hair cut by Brandon in the Buckhead salon, it should be the same quality of service. And consistency worldwide is really what my job is to do, is try to make sure we have consistency from the beginning to the end. Winning Naha is a cool feeling. I mean, everybody buys you drinks that night and everybody has a good time. And really what it is is this, it's a, it's really feels like you've accomplished something because you never win Naha on your first try. Some people do, but I sure didn't. It took me years of being a finalist before I ever won a Naha. And the thing with Naha is this, it doesn't mean that you're a different person. It doesn't mean that you're a better hairdresser. What it means is you have put in time and time again all of your heart and all of your energy and it finally has been paid off and recognized by the industry. I really enjoy education for multiple reasons. One, it's let me travel and see the world. But the other thing is this, I get just as much out of teaching someone as I do learning from someone else. I feel like every time I teach somebody a new technique or talk to someone about classic haircutting, it makes me stay grounded and stay really strong at what I know how to do the best, and that's classic haircutting. I hope that every person who is in this industry cares as much about education as I do, because if they continue to train themselves and train others, they're gonna continue to be amazing hairdressers through the rest of their careers, because it's very easy to become complacent in this industry and get bored. We're very artsy people. We don't like doing the same thing day in and day out. And the only way to stay an artist and stay good at what you do is really by staying a student for life and continuing to train yourself. Niggas on the corner, I ain't forget you niggas.